Today we're going to look at more of the unified toolpaths. So we're going to go in our machine toolpaths and select unified. And we're going to start off with a half inch ball end mill. And we're going to go to our cut pattern page and pick. Now we're going to use the default parallel for the moment. We want to select the faces that we want to machine. So I'm going to pick these four faces here. And I'm going to go to tool axis control. And because we have a three axis machine, I'm going to limit it to three axis. And let's start with that. And we got a tool path. Let's do a quick back plot. It's a workable tool path. There's a couple things I'm seeing that I'm not happy with. The zigzag is one thing I I wouldn't like to do because certain materials don't like that. If you look over in his area here, we got pretty sharp transitions. That's not good for some of the machinery sometimes. So let's take a look at uh, how we can improve those things. I'm going to go into parameters and let's go back to cut pattern. And there's a little box here that says round corners. I'm going to check that off. Notice two things. We've got a little graphic up here that shows us what the toolpath is going to be rounded off. And over here, you'll see an extra tab emerges when I hit round corners. So now I can go into that option here. And let's say we put 50 thousands in for our transitions. And we'll go ahead and recalculate. And you notice we've got a round transition now. This makes life a little easier on the machine tool, especially the newer higher speed machines. So now I want to change the lead ins a little bit too, and I want to change the direction of the tool path. Because if you look here, our lead ins are, are pretty direct, and we're zigzagging, which is the other thing that, you know, is not good for some materials. Some materials it doesn't matter, other materials your, your surface finish is not going to be very good. So we're going to exit out of here, go back to the parameters, and on our cut page, it says cutting method here. Instead of zigzag, let's do a spiral. Let's go into our linking parameters and turn on lead ins. And let's see. We're going to put them on here as well. And let's get a quick look at that. So now when we go back plot this, notice we've got a, a smooth one direction toolpath, which is much better for tool life and surface finish. I've got it lead ins and leads out every time. So that looks better. Actually, we're going to have to bring this toolpath a little tighter to get the surface finish that we would like. So I'm going to go back to the parameters here. And we're going to cut our step over down. Right now, we've got a 50,000 step over. And that's fairly aggressive for what we're doing here. We'll go to 10. And our scale up height is should be pretty small. We're going to go up to 20. Our surface quality should be relatively decent. And you notice we have a much tighter toolpath now. There's some other tuning we could do, but that doesn't look too bad. Thank you for joining me for another Mastercam video. If you like these videos, please subscribe to the channel and turn your notifications on. You'll be notified each time a new video is released.